So what's up everybody, this is Peter aka Coding Made Easy and welcome to another uh, update. Now I have more than one, uh, multiple things to actually update you on. Um, so first I'm just going to update you on the, I, the iOS version of Drunk Driver. Now it is not released on the App Store yet, but I am planning to put it up for review uh, tonight. There are just a few minuscule changes I have to make. Um, as you can see, I purchased uh, I purchased an iPhone 5 off this guy uh, for, for Kiji, on Kijiji for like 300 and like 340 bucks. It's really cheap for the iPhone 5. Um, so I could actually test my uh, test it on on this device. And honestly, like libgdx, the conversion, I thought it was gonna be difficult. I ran into a few problems at first, obviously. You're going to run into some problems once your first time doing something with a particular software. But I got everything set up like I wanted to with a bit of trouble. But now I, now that I understand how to do it, it's pretty, it's relatively an easy concept. So, um, let me just click to run this app. Um, so it's already running. Um, and basically it has, uh, the achievement system is set up through, whoa, you guys can't see that. But it's set up through Game Center, um, so it's just a sandbox mode, um, but whatever. Uh, so it has that set up, it has the Twitter and Facebook stuff set up like before. Everything's set up, the playing is there, everything's there, and the conversion was relatively easy. It took me a while because I was learning things and stuff, some things weren't working because obviously I was learning, but it's essentially working on iOS, so expect it to be on the iPhone, the i, bleh, sorry, the App Store, um, sometime next week because the review process on average I think takes about four days I don't know if it's four business days or not um, but yeah expect to see it on there now for the other update um, I don't know what I should point the camera at or whatever um, I'll just keep it at this um, so basically for the other update uh, for mono game so a lot of you guys have been asking me what's gonna happen with this mono game series well uh, the, it's not that I've given up on it, it's because when I tried to set up mono game on my computer, I've tried it on my Mac, I tried to set it up on my on Windows. Um, and the problem is that um, in order to get mono game to work on say iOS or work on Android, you need to use this thing called Xamarin, uh, Xamarin um, iOS or Xamarin with Android. Now they with with Visual Studio you had to pay for the professional version I think, which is like a thousand bucks to incorporate it with Visual Studio which I'm not going to spend and I know you guys aren't going to spend just to, to use it with um, Xamarin I mean just to, use, to convert model games to iOS and Android so they have a basic package I think which is free and I tried installing Xamarin Studio and Xamarin Studio just keeps on opening windows upon windows like it just keeps on looks like it's calling a, a loop or something and it's just recursive it just keeps opening um, like recursively and I just can't stop it and one time I got it to open and then when I try to link mono game to it it can't find the mono game, mono game DLL files I've searched all over the internet it I for some reason I just can't link it before when I got it working on my iOS device and stuff like that it um I I got like a cracked version of Xamarin Studio and I got it up and running using Visual Studio and it was relatively easy but I wasn't trying to do that for this tutorial series and that version something went wrong with it or whatever so basically it's kind of not looking too great to convert it uh, to mobile devices which is what I really wanted so um, I may continue it with, with just the conversions to Mac and Linux I haven't really looked too extensively on, on doing that but I will be looking into that if you guys really want me to convert it or what I could do is show you guys instead of converting it to mono game I can convert the mono game code to libgdx since libgdx a lot of the syntax resembles xna syntax uh, they have <clears throat> they have vectors they have sprite batches rectangles a lot of similar syntax it would be easy to port it so it's up to you guys to see what you guys want to do if you guys want to continue with C sharp and mono game and just port it to other PC devices or if you guys want to port it over to libgdx so you can target all the different types of PCs as well as web development as well as mobile devices so you guys have to let me know about that 
As for the LibGDX series, now that I've gotten everything sorted out with Android and iOS, now I can finally focus um, on LibGDX and show you the ins and outs of LibGDX and show you how to convert it to uh, iPhone and Android now that I have a Mac and stuff like that. So you, know, you guys can have fun with that tutorial series. So anyways, that's it for now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Sorry I really didn't have anything to point to. I could have pointed it to my face, but the lighting's poor in this room. Um, but yeah, so that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll like, I'll put up another video once um once the app is released, and you guys can go and download it and try it out. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And bye for now.